Wayne Rooney is one of the most controversial English football legends. Unfortunately, all the cups and records remain in the shadows when his name is mentioned in the media. They're replaced with his drunken stories and scandals. Today, you'll learn how alcohol, constant parties, and women can ruin even the most legendary career of a player. Wayne Rooney is an English football player who plays as a center forward, five-time champion of the English Premier League, winner of the FA Cup, winner of the Champions League and the UEFA Europa League, the best scorer in the history of the national team of England and Manchester United. Wayne was born and raised in the suburbs of Liverpool. The guy who loved the game was growing ahead of time, competing with older opponents. His skill level surpassed his peers by several times. Playing for the Everton youth team, he scored 114 goals in 29 matches. Such a big difference with his peers allowed him to play for the U19 team at the age of 15. To draft such a young player, the Everton scouts had to try very hard because Liverpool was interested in the player, but Wayne's parents instilled a love for Everton in him from childhood. The player developed rapidly. As a teenager, he started playing in Premier League matches. One of the matches made him famous. On the eve of his 17th birthday, Rooney made the whole country talk about him. In the game against London Arsenal, which had not lost 30 matches, Rooney entered the field in the 80th minute with an even score of 1-1. After 10 minutes, he received the ball and scored a beautiful goal against Arsenal. Wayne Rooney, remember that name, the commenter shouted. What do you make of Wayne Rooney? It's a special goal and a special talent. It's uh, the biggest English talent I've seen here since I'm in England. Three months after that goal, Rooney signed his first professional contract and started playing in the starting lineup of Everton. In his debut season, the player did not score many goals, but for a 17-year-old player, 33 matches and 6 goals in the Premier League seemed like a dream. In the same year, he became the winner of the BBC Young Sports Personality of the Year award. Everyone was talking about him, but that was just the beginning. It didn't take long for him to get picked for the national team, and at the age of only 18, he managed to stand out twice in the match against Switzerland in the second round, and became the youngest scorer in the history of the Euro. In the next match with Croatia, Rooney did a double again and approached the quarterfinals with Portugal as England's new idol, but the fans' dreams of the title were cut short by a cruel reality. At the beginning of the match, Rooney was injured. Without the young forward, England lost to Portugal in a penalty shootout. Out. After the Euro, he continued his ascent with Manchester United under the guidance of Sir Alex Ferguson. The club paid $27 million for Rooney's transfer. This amount did not become a record, but it was the most expensive transfer of such a young player. At 18 years of age, this was this huge potential. Hopefully, if we've got it for 10 years, $27 million is nothing. The consequences of the injury delayed the debut for a month, but one match was enough for the young Rooney to prove that 27 million was paid for a reason. Nothing could hold back the Englishman that day. A hat trick and one assist in the opening match. The fans were overjoyed. Wayne had a natural talent and good physical characteristics, a brave, ambidextrous footballer with a killer instinct, and an intuitive understanding of how football works. It was not surprising that experts predicted that he could be the greatest English football player of all time, someone who can dominate football for a generation. From his first match for Manchester United up until he was 28, he had no unsuccessful seasons. He won trophies, scored goals, but every everyone expected something more from him. After Ronaldo's departure to Madrid, Wayne became the main finisher of Manchester United's attacks. According to Rooney, it was the best season of his career. He scored 34 times in 44 matches, but when he reached his peak, he caused his own downfall. Why did he stop developing his potential? Why wasn't he even in the top three contenders for the golden ball? He was predicted to become the best. After Wayne Rooney declared himself at the European Championship in Portugal, 
goal at the next three major tournaments, he scored only one goal and a red card. And this is hardly something he can be proud of. Many questions were answered by Sir Alex Ferguson in his autobiography, in which he dedicated an entire chapter to Wayne. The coach paid attention to the player's bad habits long before the first major scandal. At that time, it all remained inside the team. In 2010, the Mirror publication told where and with whom Wayne likes to spend his free time. And as it turned out, this was not the first case. Rooney's personal life was constantly in disarray. Everyone found out that the Englishman smoked cigarettes and preferred to drink a few beers at the bar instead of going to the gym. But we've got to give it to the football player. 2010 was the best year in terms of performance in his entire career. Sir Alex understood that his poor discipline would lead to the player's untimely downfall and was angry at him for his lack of professionalism. The coach scolded Rooney for the slightest worsening in form. The only thing Manchester was not ready for was that the football player would leave. In the media, news about his departure from the club appeared one after another. I was in the office on August the 14th and David Forney had got a phone call from his agent saying that he wasn't signing a contract. I just was dumbfounded. I, I could not understand it at all because only months before he's saying he's the greatest club in the world. They want to stay for life and and we just don't know what's changed that the boy's mind, really. The Englishman turned from a hero into a traitor. Even more surprising is why he decided to leave. It sounds like this. The club does not match my ambitions. These ambitions immediately subsided as soon as Manchester United offered him one of the highest salaries in the Premier League. After all this, it was hard for the fans to accept him back. But instead of trying to regain their trust, Wayne began to get caught more and more in the lenses of cameras drunk. <laughs> In the winter of 2011, Sir Alex excluded Rooney from the lineup for the game for a party he threw, celebrating the victory over Wigan. The coach warned the player more than once that his good qualities were easily crossed out by his weak form and demanded from Rooney a professional attitude towards recovery. No one has ever reproached the football player for not giving his best in training and in matches. He worked to the best of his abilities, but these abilities became slimmer and slimmer every year. Although the player performance still remained at a high level. Wayne had a gift for creating dangerous moments. During Ferguson's last year at United, Rooney was losing his form, but he still did incredible things. For example, a brilliant pass to Van Persie and a goal with an overhead kick in the match against Manchester City. Such moments only confirmed his skill level, but as time went on, it became increasingly difficult for him to play for 90 minutes, and he was only 28 years old. After the retirement of the head coach, Rooney's level of play began to decline. He didn't have time to put out either in attack or defense. In addition, the team's results went down dramatically, and instead of trying to resolve the situation as captain, Rooney was increasingly visible off the field, which further aggravated the atmosphere within the team. Over over time, it became obvious that the football player could no longer keep up with the United level. Yes, the problem started under Ferguson, but because of the good statistics, they were not so obvious. At 30, Rooney looked more like a veteran who was invited to take part in a show match. Journalists and viewers had not yet had time to recover from England's disastrous performance at Euro 2016. And then, the captain of the national team was caught drunk at the hotel, where the team was at the time of preparation for the matches. The photos immediately spread all over the media. Rooney left the national team under the pretext of a knee injury and never played in the national team again. Having lost his previous form, he moved to Everton where he played one season. But tired of the workloads of the Premier League, Wayne decided to move to the American Championship. At the DC United Club, his salary was higher than the rest of the club's players. For such generosity, the Englishman scored 26 goals, one of which became a high highlight in his career. Rooney scored a goal by hitting the ball from his own half of the field. 
he still got it. Although the player tried very hard to waste it on getting drunk, he never really drew conclusions from his past unpleasant stories. In America, Washington airport security officers detained the football player. He cursed loudly and tried to break into one of the doors, thinking that it was an elevator. Here's how Rooney's representative explained this behavior. During the flight, Wayne took sleeping pills, which he then mixed with alcohol. Upon arrival, he found himself disoriented in space. In addition, many photos of the player wasted appeared on the internet. Now Wayne Rooney is the head coach of the MLS DC United Club, and it is not entirely clear how he'll explain to the players the importance of a regime and recovery. After all, he has been drinking, smoking, and partying all his career, at the same time being one of the best players in the world. But seriously, it's a pity that such a great football player greased the end of such a brilliant career. The main talent of England at the beginning of the 21st century has won many trophies, broken several records, and all this with an unhealthy lifestyle and a fairly early decline. Can you imagine what could have happened if Rooney had followed a regime and was serious about recovery? Let me know in the comments how you think Rooney's career would have turned out had he spent less time on bars and fun and more on keeping in shape. Thanks for watching. I recommend you check out the video about why De Bruyne hates Courtois. It's a must-know story.